Good morning. It is Tuesday, the 28th of June, uh, 2016. Possibly one of the worst periods in British history right now. And uh, of course, we've got the whole um, Brexit thing happening as I speak. So, can we talk? Can we please talk about this here? Um, I'm probably going to do this video in segments uh, because I've been uh, sharing articles like crazy, reading articles like crazy. Yesterday I watched Parliament Live uh, when uh, David Cameron's first kind of uh, appearance since Friday when he gave his um, gave his notice. And uh, it, there's been no talk in Parliament at all yet about the... Um, about the petition for the second referendum, which is around the four million people have signed it, Mark, now. And yeah, there have been some absolute fools who've signed it uh, falsely, uh, which is stupid. Guys, when you're trying to do the right thing, you don't do the right thing by doing the wrong thing. Uh, so whether that's, um, you know, uh, pro-leave people who are trying to sabotage it or it's uh, pro-remain people, who think they're helping uh, don't the I, I'm not even sure whether it's worth keep signing that petition because uh, yesterday in Parliament it seemed that it was adamant the British people had spoken democracy had won this was the result and this was what we were going to deal with was this the result is this a real result? And that's what's kind of being discussed all over uh, Facebook and social media at the moment. Excuse me a second. Uh, is the fact that uh, a lot of people voted on what they believed to be facts. And those facts were that, uh, and yes, it was heavily implied about the 350 million which was painted on the side of the Brexit buzz um, you know we send 350 million a week to the EU let's give that to our NHS instead and people are saying oh well they didn't say we'll give that it said let's let's not argue semantics and defend what was quite clearly a blatant lie is what it was it was a massive implication. If I say, I've got two tins of paint in this house, let's give one to our next door neighbours. And then I just stand there with them in my hands while my neighbour's reaching out for them, saying, oh, <laughs> same thing is to me anyway. Um, so with the number of people that have come out since voting leave, and said, saying things like, I had no idea that this was going to happen. If I could go back now, I would vote remain. Isn't it also a democracy to let people rethink now that they've had a real taste of what is actually happening? People didn't do the research. That's the fact of the matter. There were people on Wednesday, the 22nd of June, at 11 o'clock at night, posting on Facebook, still don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, and there were other people who were adamant, yes, I know what I'm going to do now. And they were basing their entire decision on what they'd been told by the, uh, by the Leave campaign. Let's tackle immigration. Farage and his blatantly racist poster. Uh, and let's give 350 million a week to the NHS. And now that it's come out that neither of those things were ever really guaranteed, people have changed their minds. So let's let people change their minds. I think that's massively important. There's also the, the other options, of course. There's the option that uh, Nicola Sturgeon, apparently, if she really wanted to, could veto uh, the entire thing and being the first minister of scotland and considering that every single solitary area in scotland voted majority to remain she should do that 
she doesn't represent us down here in England. She represents Scotland and everyone in Scotland wanted to remain. And if the only way that that could be done is by vetoing it, then Nicola, do it. Do it. My good, stop texting me. I'm busy doing a video. Um, and of course, the other way is uh, to write to your MP and ask them to uh, vote it down in Parliament because apparently it still has to be voted by for by Parliament. Um, this was not a democratic vote uh, at all because in true democracy people vote knowing the full outcome of their vote, knowing okay, if I choose this, this is possibly what's going to happen. And people haven't really thought about that. They haven't thought about the young people who, as a part of the EU, have a chance to love, live, work in 27 other countries. And yeah, they will still have that chance if we if we do exit. Um, but it'd be a lot more difficult. It's not just going to be a, a, as easy as it is now. And people haven't thought about that and haven't thought about how it's going to affect their holidays. Uh, how many fags you can b bring back from mainland Spain for a start. All of, the, all of these things, all the little things that you didn't think would affect you are going to affect you. The Euro's already, just in the last few days, uh, I noticed on uh, Friday it was one twenty-five. Soon went down to 124, 119 yesterday morning, haven't looked this morning. Um, Two trillion wiped from the global economy. Britain has um, lost its kind of standing. Uh, we went from um, uh, stable to negative. Uh, and we've lost our AAA status, which we've held for 38 years. Uh, just a little bit shorter than we've been in the EU. So, would you change your vote if you had a chance to have a second vote? That's an interesting question. And if you would, make that public. Start shouting it from the freaking rooftops. Post it on your Facebook status. Have the guts, have the courage to say, I made a mistake, I, I, I should have voted, remain. You know, let's not hide under a bushel. The racism has been utterly disgusting to watch. I would advise if Channel 4 on their Channel 4 News website have any way of watching previous shows, watch the show from Monday the 27th of June, which was an hour and a half long, because it was massively telling. Um... And it's important for us to know these uh, these things. It's important for us to know that it was a large majority of the older generation of Britain pressing my contacts on my eyes. Uh, it, it it was them who really thought that this would make a massive impact on immigration, and they were lied to. Um, and they reacted with a knee-jerk reaction. And I think loads, so many people are now really, really regretting it. So them's our three options. Second referendum goes through, or Nicola Sturgeon vetoes, or we all write to our MPs and ask them to vote this down in Parliament and did not agree to it. Because surely we're better in just the last five, six days, five days. Yes, Paul, you know, 23rd, 28th, it's five, love. The last five days have proven beyond a shadow of a doubt that we're in, if, if, if we let this go through, we're in for a major, major rocky period and why should people's mortgages be affected and who I'm more concerned for are the young people they're going to be around longer than oh, I'm 47 I voted remain and I did that 
because I looked at pretty much everything and of course there were issues with the EU big issues but the EU got blamed for everything our own government has done people were angry they were angry that uh, business and industry hadn't been supported in Britain and so that huge kind of towns which were uh, known for you know, coal, steel, shipbuilding, whatever had their industry had died British government nothing to do with the EU uh, people were angry about immigration uh, and when it comes to numbers there are parts of that I understand when it comes to cultures I don't at all I'm a hippie I want to live with everybody because you know that's nice um, but again British government not much to do with the EU uh, other than the freedom of movement within European countries but that's all 27 countries you can move there just like they can move here it's what's the big deal um so uh, anyway i had to do that this this morning because it, it's been it's, it's all been driving me crazy and i was gonna like oh i'll stop it and uh, and you know do it all in little segments and do it all properly and i, I put my contacts in and called me air and then i thought do you know what i don't care about that else you can see me my fist i don't mind I have nothing inside. Can we please, can we please exit Brexit and, and can people revote knowing what they know now? And can we all get along? And more than anything else, if you see or hear anything racist, don't stand by, don't get the camera out, do something. It is utterly disgusting that the underbelly of this country have been, feel that they've been given carte blanche to do and say whatever they want. And how dare they? And if you know anyone who does it, or has done it, who said anything, who's posted anything, uh, call them out. Don't just sit on by and say, oh, well, I understand your point of view. Racism is racism. It's hatred. It's unjustified hatred. Please, let's exit Brexit. Good morning to you. Goodbye.